For today's activity, you're going to need a water pot and a paintbrush. You're going to need a palette to mix your um, paints on. So this can be an old plastic tray. You need your paints and you need your wax crayons. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make our Huntervasa inspired um, background, which means we're going to um, begin by adding an abstract kind of pattern and then we're going to paint on top. And for the background, we're going to use just warm colours. So we're going to begin by using our warm crayons. So that these are these colours here to um, add pattern to our background. And I'm going to try to um, copy the same style as Huntervasa, so lots of flowing lines. And I've noticed that Huntervasa often includes eyes in his work. So I'm going to add some eyes in there as well. So now it's time to paint the background and we're going to use only warm colours to do this. Because I've used wax crayons, it means that the, the watery paint will um, not stick on top of the wax and I'll be able to see the wax through. So the only colours you need on your palette for this section are red, yellow and white. And then you can use these colours, you can mix some orange by mixing some yellow with some red. So we have orange and you can mix some pink by adding white to red. Okay, so here are my warm colors ready to do my painting. Um, we want the paint to be quite watery so that it, we can clearly see the pattern that we made with the wax crayons through the paint. So I'm going to add a little bit of water to each paint. Okay, so it'll go on nice and thin. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to start adding the colours on top of the wax. And my aim is to fill the whole A4, so I'm going to start from the top and go all the way down to the bottom. You can try to follow the, the lines that you've drawn already. Here is my Huntervasa style sunset with um, lots of different lines with the wax crayon, different um, warm colours painted on top and I can still see my design coming through that I drew with the crayons before. I've also filled all of this A4 page with colour.